In this video, we discuss about the time rates. Time rates, if the value of an uncertain variable x is dependent on time t, so dx over dt is called its time rate or rate of change with respect to time. Okay. So step in solving time rate problem. So first, okay. So read the problem. Second is identify the variables and constant to be uh, differentiate with respect to time. Third is differentiate all the variables in the equation with respect to time. Then fourth is solve the unknown time rate from step two. Okay. So for the given x is equal to f of t and that is dx over dt is equal to time rate okay so for example the rate of increasing the age of a cube is 40 centimeters per minute so find the rate of change in volume so dapat naka cubic centimeter per seconds so when the age is 9 centimeter okay, so solution this is the uh age of the cube okay so we have the given which is the rate of increasing uh, the age of a cube which is ds over dt is equals to 40 centimeter uh, per minute and then the sides that is equivalent to 9 centimeter so take note that the uh, volume of a cube is uh, equivalent to s cube okay so this is the formula v is equals to s cube then derive apply derivatives then uh, derivative of v that is dv over dt okay the derivative of s cube that is a 3 s squared ds over dt okay so we can now substitute the value of s and ds over dt. Okay. So so three times a nine centimeter squared uh, forty centimeter per minute, then one minute of our sixty seconds. So we convert minute into seconds. Six uh, into seconds here. Okay. So because uh, the problem is we can find the cubic centimeter per seconds okay so to, to calculate that is the result of dv over dt is equals to 162 uh, cubic centimeter per seconds so that is the final answer example number two a man six feet tall walks toward a straight light at the rate of one a meter per seconds on the ground what is the rate of shortening his shadow when the light is 18 feet above the ground? So to illustrate, we have the lamp or the street light and the man towards the street light. Okay. So we have the lights incidents. Okay. And then the man has shadows. Okay. So we indicate here the distance of the shadows to the point okay that is x and another is the distance towards the, the street light so the or the man walks towards a street light okay so we indicate y then the height okay that is 18 feet and then here the rate of the man walks toward the street light okay so that is one meter per uh, seconds that is a given we find the dx over dt okay so uh, or another term is the rate of shortening is a shadow okay so by using the ratio and proportion six is the uh, height of the man distance of the shadow okay and that is six over x from the post of the street light 
to the point of the shadow of the man and that is y plus x okay so next cross multiply then 6y plus 6x is equals to 18x and then 6y is equals to 18x minus 6x 6y is equals to 12x 18x minus 6x that is 12x derive 6dy over dt is equals to 12dx over dt so take note that uh, dy over dt that is 1 meter per seconds so substitute 6 times 1 is equals to 12dx over dt so to find dx over dt that is uh, 1 half or 0 0.5 meter per seconds so that is the final answer so another example water is flowing into a conical tank of radius 5 feet at the rate of 8 cubic feet per minute how fast is the water level rising okay so solution so we can illustrate the figure okay so like this so we have the faucet and then the conical tank here and then the water okay so we emphasize the radius which is equivalent to five feet and then another is the uh, rate of volume which is dv over dt that is equivalent of 15 uh, cubic feet per minute okay so to now we can use the uh, volume formula of the cone okay so where the volume is equals to one third pi r squared times height okay so next derive so dv over dt is equals to one third pi r squared dh over uh, dt okay so we can now substitute the value of r and then the value of the rate of change in uh, volume over dt or dv over dt is equals to 15 okay so substitute so 15 is, is equals to one third pi uh, times 5 to the two dh over dt so where dh over dt that is the equivalent of 0 0.191 feet per minute okay so that is the rate of the height uh, change and uh, when the water level rise uh, okay so that is the final answer so example number four two automobiles starts from a point e at the same time one travels west at 90 miles per hour and the other travels north at 60 miles per hour how fast is the distance between the changing five hours later okay so solution again we use this uh, compass in order to uh, emphasize the, the direction of two automobiles so we have the north and the south then the west and east this is the car going to the west which is 90 miles per hour and the other is car is 60 miles per hour traveling to north we indicate here the distance which is s uh, between the two automobiles and then e is the starting point here okay okay so after five hours later okay so we indicate also here which is x for the distance of 90 miles per hour uh, this automobile then another uh, automobile is the y which is indicate uh, 60 mile per hour so which is the x is equals to 90 mile per hour times 5 hour is equals to 450 miles so that is the distance of this uh, automobile going to the west okay so on the other is y is equals to 60 mile per hour times 5 hour that is 300 miles per hour okay so that is the distance of the other automobile going to north we can apply the pentagorean uh, theory a squared is equals to x squared plus y squared okay so to find the s which is the distance between the two automobiles okay so that is s squared is equals to 450 squared plus 300 squared and then the, the equivalent of s is 
is equals to 541 miles. You can derive this. So 2s ds over dt is equals to 2x dx over dt plus 2y dy over dt. So due to the value of s, uh, x, y, and then dx over dt and dy over dt. Okay, so which is 2 times uh, 541 ds over dt is equals to 2 uh, times the two, uh, 450 times 90 plus times 300 times 60. Okay, so the result of ds over dt that is equivalent of 108 mile per hour. This is the final answer. Example number 5, a circular conical reservoir. Vertex down has a depth uh, 40 feet and radius of the top is 15 feet. So water is leaking out so that the water surface is falling at the rate of 2 feet per hour. At what rate in cubic feet per hour is the water leaving the reservoir when the uh, water is 12 feet deep? Okay, so we illustrate the figure or we draw. So like this, this is a conical or conical tank, okay, or conical reservoir, okay. So we have the height of the cone, then, or the height of reservoir, then the having a water, then the radius is 15, and then we have the rates, a uh, change in height, okay, so that is equivalent of negative 2 feet uh, per hour. Because the water of the reservoir is uh, decreased. Okay. So also the rate is decreasing. Then. So we can find the change in volume. Okay. So which is dv over dt. That is unknown. Okay. So to solve this problem. Uh, this is the formula of uh, volume. Of a cone that is a one third pi r squared times height you can now apply using similar triangle okay so in terms of r and h another term is the ratio and proportion okay so this is 15 over 40 so 15 over 40 then r over h okay so to find r that is equivalent of 3 8, 8 times the height then substitute the formula, which is volume is equals to one third pi r squared times height. Okay. So where v is equals to one third pi, three over eight h to the power two times the height. And then where v is equals to three over 64 pi h cube. Apply derivatives, which is dv over dt is equals to three over 64 pi quantity of three h squared dh over uh, dt. In order to find the rate of change in volume, so we can substitute the uh, h and the dh over dt. Okay, so where dv over dt, that is equals to the 3 over 64 5 times 3 times 12 to the, to the power 2 uh, times the negative 2. And the result is dv over dt is equals to negative 127 uh, point. 235 cubic feet per hour. Okay, so that is the final answer for the rate in volume, which is the water leaving.